Charlie to the BLACK representing special mix the bar. Yeah, man, I'm say what's a special mix. Be here, be a special mix. We're gonna look it down and say, yo, Mr. Special Mix here. I'm gonna like that. Wake them up, special. Wake them up. Now, let me see who we have on the phone with us. And um, as you know, again, this is Women in Reggae. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Who do we have on the phone with us right now? Good evening, good evening, greetings, greetings, greetings. You don't know, this is Tasha T calling all the way from Canada. <laughs> nice. Well, welcome to English Pound Radio. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Um... A, a little birdie told me that you did something very significant recently. Yes, I did. <laughs> now, as you know, we are celebrating and not celebrating. We are actually putting out a series because when I say not celebrating, to me, we shouldn't have to be pushing this 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 um, this motion forward that women should be equal in the industry but to me it's important to start somewhere you know people they talk they talk they talk but they don't back it up you know english pound we do it different so we came up with this series that allows women around the world we've got female artists managers actresses um promoters who are going to be phoning in um and you know they're significant in the industry we got Females from Japan, Dubai, the UK, Canada, right. US. And and the thing is, why is it that when a, a lady enters into the reggae industry, she has to prove 10 times that she has the right to be in this industry? Well, I mean, I would say we all know it's a male-dominated, you know, business and so forth and... I mean, women, we just have to, we work harder and we have to work harder to, for us to really get recognized. And I mean, it's something that we can't question it. Why? It's just how it is, right? But at the same time, you know, I really like the movement to know that we are being recognized and, and we're getting more support, like people from yourself, you know, promoters putting more women on the show because, I mean, you have times where I just be a man on the show and when a promoter looks at it, they're like, okay, where are the women? We need more women on these shows that are representing and are doing good music at the same time. When it comes to promoters and they might call you to, to perform on a show, do you, do you ever find, you know, when you're having a chat with your fellow male colleagues, do you guys get paid equally? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me, let me tell you something. This show is for female artists and anyone in the female industry to just clear the air. Because unless we speak about things, no one's going to make a change. Definitely. And I mean, when it comes to pay equally, I think it is about status. Like, you know, it's either you're out there, if they see that you're out there and you have your friends, then it's a matter of what you are charging them. I don't really think it's about, okay, um, because that artist is a male artist, you're a woman, we're going to pay him more. No, it's about who is out there and, and, and who has a lot of friends out there, right? What about, I mean, what about closing shows? Um, to be honest, I don't really think I've seen, um, especially at, in the big major shows, a, a lady closing the show. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, we, we've seen it happen at, what, some fest with Lady Star. Right. She ended up closing the show. You know, you, you do have artists, you have Marcia Griffith as well that closes the show. It's just a matter of your status out in the business. Right. You know? In Canada, are there a lot of female artists? Yes, there is. A whole lot. But it's a matter of who is doing what and who is not doing what. <laughs> you understand? So, you have so much great talent here in Canada. But then again, at the same time, you know, we don't get that respect 
that's what we deserve. I mean, look at me, you know, I've been in the business for over 20 years now. Right. And it, it takes time for we, for, you know, people to recognize that, you know, she has been in the business a long time. She's doing a lot of work, you know, and, and, and it's sad that to know that it takes so many years for people here in Canada to, to, to give you that respect that you deserve. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Yeah. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> because, you, I mean, because like I mean, you said, you, I mean, you put in, you, I mean, you put in you your have, time. You have, you know, as again, you, you do have radio DJs, you have, you know, um, female promoters as well. And it's just the same thing. And I, I always ask my question, why is that? But, you know, we as a woman, we have to stand firm. We have to be as bully as the man, the man and, and let them know, say, yeah, we're there, we're there for clearing the space as well. I mean, put it, for instance, no, there's times where I've, I've been on a show and my time slot was at this time and then they move it around because of that certain artist, you know, but you have to make them know, say, no, that can't work like that, you know, so you have to really stand strong in this business and you cannot get discouraged you know, of, of how they approach you with certain things. What do you do then? Because is it intimidating to have to stand up for yourself? Do they look down at you as a voiceless voice? It feels like that at times, yes. It does feel like that, but you have to let your voice be heard. Could you know, you can't, you can't come with no staff business. You have to let them know, say, yo... <laughs> this is how it is and this is how it's going to be. Or I won't be performing. You understand? Do do you then as a female artist and have you seen other female artists put themselves in a position where they are looked upon as moaning and just grumbling where they may say the man wouldn't do that? Is it do you have to compensate? for being a lady do you have to tone down or do you have to address certain issues differently just in case it's looked upon that you're using your female gender as a plus or minus to get your way do you ever feel that you have to be different no for me i just be who i am and i just be me and that's how i get the respect because you know at the same time you, you don't come arrogant you don't come you know, you, you deal with them in an intelligent way. Mm -hmm. You understand where they have to respect you. You understand? You're not going there flaunting. You're not going there begging. You make them know that business is business because music is business. Question for you. You've got l female artists who are, you know, normal. When I say normal, I'm talking about um, normal uh, uh, doctrine, for example. And then you've got female artists who follow the, 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 the Rasta faith. Um, yeah. Do you see a difference in respect for women who are of the Rasta faith? Do they seem to garnish a higher respect than, say, the girl who's doing the hardcore dancehall, for example? Well, put it this way. I mean, most Rasta fans and you know when you when you do a show, you find most shows or most Rastafarian artists or female artists is on a cultural show. Right. You're not gonna really find, uh, you know, a cultural and a dancer mixed together. Right. You know what I mean? So there's two different things right there. No, I tell you what. But, I, was, I tell you what I was thinking because I remember there's a few shows that I've been to which mm -hmm. promoted women, right? And right. and then you had a different genre of women. You had Rasta women. You had normal, um, secular women. Some are in dance or right. some. Are, and what I know backstage, I've noticed that the the women who are of the Rasta faith seems to get a more respectable speech from the people who's organizing than say the. The, the, the young girl who's just bad mm -hmm. on the stage. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying... Is well, 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 put it this way. Mm -hmm. I, I did a show this year, um, International Women of Reggae in New York City. And you had me as the Rastafarian. You have um, Itana, 
you had sugar, you have Nadine Sutherland, you had um, China Nicole, and all of us, our, our music are all different. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we got the same respect and the same respect of speech, you know, same way from the promoter because each of us have something different. Right. You understand? Right. right. So we still got that respect. Nice. nice. You know? Where where do you see the music business going for females in general? Do you see it getting better very soon, or do you see it still be, to be an up, uphill struggle? Well, I have seen it get better, and it's going to be even greater. <laughs> you get right, me? Right. It's going to be even greater, because as I said, you have a lot of female artists out there, and a lot of them are, you know, coming out with good conscious music. You know, you don't, they don't have to be Rastafarian, but you see them coming out with conscious, positive music. You understand? It's just gonna be, it's just gonna get greater. You know, definitely the, the woman is, 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 their time is coming where, you know, no matter what, they're gonna have to put a female artist on every show that they put on. Because everyone is getting their respect and doing what they need to do and, and, and their fans are growing. I have a song that I'm going to play of yours. It's called Real Talk. Yeah. Give me some background in regards to Real Talk. Well, Real Talk is the um, title of my Real Talk album that was released last year uh, for the VP Records label and Rastafari Records. And, um, you know, Real Talk is definitely talking about being real and being true to yourself. And the song definitely... You know, I highlight all the things that we all face in life every day. You understand? That that needs to to be fixed in terms of the healthcare system, the educational system. And it goes on and on, you know. So it's just talking the real things. Well, I will say, Tasha T, can you please introduce Real Talk for me? Talk, we attack, we attack, we attack, we attack, it straight from the yard. Just like a freedom fighter. You don't know it's all about the English for the radio. Drop it on them special. Every so often them. them of them <laughs> conference meeting. I don't see what they are seeking. Information is leaking. But right about now, Tasha T is speaking. speaking. Instead of doing it your way, why don't we try our way? Instead of increasing the government salaries, minimum wages need to be raised. So many different types of taxes taken in so many ways. There's not enough doctors, not enough nurses to help those in difficult days. Teachers are being underpaid. No, it's the students. This is English Pound with special mix uh, with the series called Women in Reggae. And we're talking to uh, Tasha T. Real talk, Tasha. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play another song of yours. Now, this song that I'm going to play 
is called Bed of Fire. That's yes, a very, very interesting title. What's that one about? Well, that song, Bed of Fire, was produced by Rory and Patchy in Jamaica, Fly and Robbie as well. And, I mean, that song is just about people who are very ungrateful because you find people that you do so much things for them. At the end of the day, they will look at you and say, what have you done? No matter how small a person does, no matter how small a, what a person does for you, you have to give thanks for them and be grateful and acknowledge that at the same time. I understand? And at the same time, you have to know where you're going. You know, you can't follow someone that is doing wrongdoings and then, you know, you, you can't make them lead you. So you have to be the leader in everything. So, you know, we, we, we call them walking dead. I will call them, you know, better fire. <laughs> is it, wait, hold on, man. You, you said know, you said walking dead. You mean like a zombie? Yeah, like a walking dead. So when people when people do you wrong and say, you know, you have not done nothing for them, you just love them. You don't have to, you know, be aggressive towards them. You just continue do what you have to do. Cause you know, so them are walking dead. <laughs> 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 you just keep on moving, you know, pay them no mind, you know, worry about them because none of them can't get to it. Ed. <laughs> wow, wow. So, Tasha T, please introduce Better Fire for me, please. Well, as I said, this one is for the ones out there that don't appreciate things that people have done for you. So, you know what? This one is called Better Fire. <laughs> Yo, this is Barry Simon, and you're listening to English Pound Radio every time. Don't move the camera. This is Tasha T, Better Fire on English Pound Radio. If you bite the ends that feed you, you're just like a walking dead. Let me tell you, none of them can get to me yet. That's in a fire, they must spread them dead. If you make a blind man lead you, you're worse than a walking dead. No greater fool than the man who fool himself, thinking that he's wiser than you. Walk around and bragging about himself and the things he think he can do. The great book said, Them can't get to me, yeah. Cause in a fire, they must spread them bed. If you bite the ends that feed you, you just like the walking dead. Let me English Pound Radio for the English ladies, elephant man say, come up. Big up dance master and crew and all people who love reggae music. It's not a pound of fish or a pound of flour, but English Pound Radio. <laughs> this is Dan Dada Jaboni Wheeler making you want know, to hear roots and culture, hardcore, message in the music, dance hall. Listen to the champion radio, big time, English Pound. You hear? Hey, this is John Witherspoon. You're listening to English Pound Radio. Bang, 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 bang. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for the next 35 or 45 minutes. You know how to, you know how to pull that one up again. This one goes out to I2K, DJ English, Kaz, and Bricks and It Man. Hear this? You bite the ends that feed you You're just like a walking dead Let me tell you none of them can get to me yet That's in a the fire, they must spread them bed If you make a blind man lead you You're worse than a walking dead No greater fool than the man who fool himself Thinking that he's wiser than you Walk around and bragging about himself And the things he think he can do The great book said Let me tell you, none of them can get to me yet. Cause in a fire, they must spread them bed. If you bite the ends that feed you, you're just like a walking dead. Let me tell you, none of them can get to me yet. Cause in a fire, they must spread them bed. If you make the blind man lead you, you're worse than a walking dead. Yeah. 
Again, it's all about English pound radio. You yeah, get my blood. All right, let's stay locked to it. Yeah, check it out. Yes, people. Boy, better, better fire. W- w- walking dead. Oh man, that's that's like some Halloween business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, sir. <laughs> An Halloween business. I real talk with Seth. Wow. And I mean that that song. They can see the video of that song. Directed by Wayne Benjamin, it was shot at shoot in Jamaica, and um, you know it's a very nice video. It gives you a, a, it's like a short film, you know. And that song also was taken off of my Juno nominated Real Talk album, Better Fire. And I mean, to go back to the the, the event that happened the other day, especially it, it was so amazing, you know, for me and first time ever, you know, to even work with a orchestra you know boris brought was was very fantastic over 200 students were there you know we, we i was the narrator as well as talking about the underground railroad about slavery and black people and so forth so right. you know it, it's good to know that you know reggae is going far well it, it is far but tasha t taking it to a different level you, you understand so what's that what's that rumor that that the people in the industry are spreading that reggae is dying or reggae is dead. Well, reggae could never die. Reggae lives on forever because for me to even perform at Boris Brown Education Concert and singing Redemption song, I mean these children are from grade four to eight, and once I start singing, they were singing with me as well, so they know Bob Marley music, they know reggae music. You understand? Mm-hmm. And they embrace the message of the music. You know, it was such a joy to even see the children clapping while I was singing and singing along with me. I mean, you can even check it out on Facebook, the clippings that I put up on Facebook of the performance of the show. It was it was great. So you said you performed with an orchestra. That's v- yes. That reminds me very similar of what John Holt and Freddie McGregor did. So that's unique for you. And, yes, and I've, yes. nev- I've never seen a, a, a lady in reggae do it. Well, first time for everything. And it's the first they ever incorporate, uh, you know, a reggae song in their concert. Because, I mean, they've been doing this for years. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Boris brought, they were so, you know, impressed of the, my works that I've been doing over the years. And invited me to be a narrator, which is the first time I ever did something like this. The first time... They ever had a reggae singer sing with them with the orchestra and sing Bob Marley's song. Nice, nice. Well, I want to congratulate you first on that because that's that that's a big achievement. And well, thank you so much. And you know, like I said, that's the whole purpose of this series, and I'll keep mentioning it: women in reggae. It's important that we see different angles of the industry because you know we just say reggae and we think man no. you know what i mean we and don't we don't think woman we don't think women no. if, if they do think of a woman she might be on stage as a solo artist but it's most likely they're going to yes. think of a woman as a backing singer exactly or, 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 or a dance or a dancer right mm-hmm. for real and the thing about it is that you know, also me being the first reggae act and a female to to be um, nominated and perform at the Indigenous Music Awards, you know, for the Native people. Nice. You know, that, that happened in September. That was also a great experience. Right. And also being the first woman again to perform at the Roy Thompson and Macy Hall Summer Patio this year as well. Nice. And also the Union Summer Series <laughs> <laughs> being the first reggae again. So, you know, Tasha T is taking this to another level. You understand? Introducing 
reggae to different side of people. Nice. And that's what we need. We need um we, we need more vehicles to, to push us in different places. I mean, you know, if you want to listen to reggae, you go to a local reggae show and oh. it's normally not in a not so much in a fancy place. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you, have to, you have to watch where you lean your hands, that, put that way, no, right? But, but, but to be in a, in a hey, reggae in a nice environment, which is okay. used to people... You know, spending time how they dress and how yes. they look. That's a that's a nice look, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I mean, you know, reggae can never die. Reggae lives on forever. You understand? Because when I go to these places and introduce reggae to them, it's like, you know, as soon as they hear the beat, they're moving. They might not you know, understand what I'm saying, but they're moving and they're enjoying every bit of it. Nice, <laughs> nice. You understand? So, you know, that's where I'm going with the reggae music right now. Nice. Let's take it to a different level. I'm going to play a song because obviously you sound like you're on a mission. <laughs> I'm on a been on my mission. Music I'm so I'm I gonna mean, I'm gonna play a song that's called Musical Mission. All right. Now g- g- give us give us a, a you know obviously what you've been saying during this show. You are definitely on a mission. But give us a background of this song. Well, the background of this song, um, it was produced by NAP Music Production out of the state. Um, and it's a compilation on the new Mission of Love Rhythm. And I mean, that song is definitely letting the artists know, upcoming artists or even artists know that we have to know that, you know, the music is a mission. We have to know that it is... You know, we're here for a purpose. And why are we doing it? It's not all about the money and the fame. You have to continue pushing positive messages. You understand? Because the youth, them are the future. You get me? And we have to set that example for them. So definitely, I'm letting them know that continue on your mission, but make sure it's positive and make sure it has meaning and make sure it has a message in it. And make sure you keep it real. <laughs> right, right. Well, listen, do me a favor. Please introduce Musical Mission for me. Well, this one again, you don't know what it is on a musical mission. It's all about onion and keeping it real and doing what you have to do. That's a tidip on a mission, shining through the rocky roads. Drop it on them. Yo, what up? This is Maxi Priest, and don't forget, we're not dealing with the dollar thing. See, this is English Pound Radio. Run things every time. Yeah. This is David Rodigan, and you're listening to English Pound Radio for the best reggae in the world. world, 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 world. Musical mission. Music is we're on a musical mission on English Pound. As David Ronigan said, special mix. Here it is. So many subjects you wouldn't learn in a school Use your brain, it's a powerful tool Dumb your literary, dumb your stuff and like a mule Hold up on the way, don't make them turn your way alone Me know you know them because them wicked and cruel Can't strike my eye with them down No demon can keep my cold Try to put me on a mission Mission in the Sharky Roads So I carry my load the people are forever me priority. Oh, we fear so far when we are the majority. Just because we are not the column, no solidarity. Still, I'm by yourself with every day because of vanity. Them a load for you, but we all live up for charity Them a tell when they rap about equality But you just give me the authority You put me on a mission I'm a mission, I'm a rocky road So I carry my load You just put me on a mission Yeah, musical mission Yeah, you just put me on a mission I'm a 
I'm getting married in the morning. English phone. The heaviest phone. English phone. Yo, we are the crown. And you ain't no clown. Yeah, this is King Yellowman, King of Dancehall. Unity. Yo, Rastafari. So you're on a mission. Nice. What is your, what is your immediate plans? What, like, you know, given, given that, you know, that you are definitely now doing things completely different than the normal reggae artists will do. You have fresh ideas of how to expose your music to a, a new demographics. What are your plans for the future? Where, where, where are you intending to take your music now? Well, definitely um, my plans, and not sure if you're aware that I'm also the musical ambassador for Read Across Jamaica Foundation. Okay, congratulations. Where, where? Thank you. I've been with them for three years now. Where we tour um, Jamaica and visit different schools, primary schools. So every year we tour and we encourage reading with the children. We do reading activities. We donate books, school supplies, and so forth. And you know, I also have a theme song titled "Educate Yourself." You know, and I mean that's my mission. One of my missions where I will continue. To inspire, inspire the youth, them, you know. Also, my mission is to continue doing good music, more good music, positive music, and and take it to the next level. You know, um, I have a few singles coming out as well for next year. Working on another album. My next mission is to um, I produce as well, where I will be producing upcoming artists as well. So you know, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of different ideas. Some of them I can't let out the bag yet. Of but course, <laughs> these are they're top, well, se- you know, top secret. What if I happening for Tasha T? You just have to, you know, just just continue following me. You know, follow me on my social network, my Facebook page, my fan page is Tasha T Music. Also, my Twitter is Tasha Tasha T. My Instagram Tasha T Rasta T. My website. Um, TashaTMusic.com Just continue follow me and, and just follow my journey And you'll see what's happening Nice Next up to next <laughs> Nice, nice But you know As I said You know The mission definitely Is to continue Reaching out to the youth them And the experience That I had with Boris Brad You know That brought me to a different level Of children nice. You understand Nice, nice Yeah man So this is, That's just what it's all about Just keeping it real And do what you have to do and be true to yourself and continue to have faith and trust and praise the Most High God in everything you do. You know, I always tell every upcoming artist that you have to have God in your life first before anything. You understand? And you have to believe in yourself and know the purpose and know where you're going and where you're coming from. So that's the main thing right now. Nice. Just keep it real. Nice. If and you... don't get discouraged <laughs> because the business is very ruggedy. You know, you can't get discouraged. Just do what you have to do Good. and have faith and, and, and don't switch because of certain things. You understand? It's not all about the money and the fame. It's about the message in the music. And Tasha T being that musical messenger, you know, I will continue doing what I'm doing. I could have fallen off a long time or I could have switched a long time, but no. I know that this is what I'm destined to do and my purpose and why I'm here. Wow. Well, thank you very much for for taking time out your busy schedule to to so talk thank to you us. For having me. Well, and you know and you know what and thank you again because like I said this this whole series is women in reggae and you know reggae, what, yeah. and, and I appreciate Definitely. the fact that you you know you've you've just, you know you've You've joined us to talk about this, and and you've given us some enlightenment, and also for all the the the, the budding female artists or or anyone in the industry, not just artists, but females who want to get in this 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 um, busy busy industry. You know, it's nice to hear when other ladies are you know g- given their experience. You know, that will obviously help other other ladies who want to get involved, right? Yeah, because I mean, at the same time, it's not easy because me, Tasha T, also being 
you know, a mother, you know, raising two children, it, it's not easy. So it, you have to balance, you know, and and that's a disadvantage that <clears throat> some of us have with the man because, you know, we can't just get up and go. Right. <laughs> you right. know, we have to make sure the bills are paid, the, the kids are all right, they have a roof over their head. Mm-hmm. All that things we have to make sure we, we take care of before we, we can just get up and go. Wow. You know, now so before- definitely. And I also want them to... to Check out the album, the Real Talk album. Mm-hmm. As I said, it was nominated for the Juno this year. You can get it on iTunes. It's distributed by VP Records. So check out the album. It's a full package. You have 20, well, it's not really 20 tracks. It's 17 tracks, but it makes it 20 because you have interludes and intro. Right. You have um, <clears throat> the Real Talk topics like prescription, you know, the jungle. You have the Lover's Rock segment and you have the educational segment where I'm introducing also the Amharic language, the alphabet, to the massive. And okay. you know, I even did um, His Majesty Haile Selassie's Bible speech. You know, so it, it's a full package. Check nice. it out. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Good. Now, before I let you go, there must be some people out there that you would like to big up and shout out. Definitely, I like to beat up um, the whole Rats 5 record team, Janet Millington, you know, Vernie Riley, French, everybody, you know, that's been there and supporting Tasha T for many, many years. And, you know, to the distractors, the, the promoters, my family, my friends, my fans, especially, <laughs> you know, so lots of love to everyone that's out there. And to yourself, you know, thanks for having me and to the whole English Pond crew. You know, it's, it, it, I mean, I just feel so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, you know, so I'm, I'm really happy that, nice. you know. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm on the radio. So lots of love and to everyone out there. And, you know, as I said, put God first in everything you do. One God, one in one destiny. Rastafari, I love every time. Coming from Tasha T, you don't know. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate everything. And, um, and we'll hear from you soon, right? Yes, definitely. And follow me on my social media if you want to know what's happening with me. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you and very for much. Bookings, for bookings, you can check Rasa Records. And for any press inquiries, you can definitely hook up with Janet Millington. Good, good. Well, thank you very much. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, right? Thank you. No right, problem. Then. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, people, that was Tasha T. And uh, that was the second interview with our series called Women in Reggae. Yo, <laughs> blessing. I'm Andan Carlos Parson too. You're listening to E-N-G-L-I-S-H. Whoa. P-O-U-N-D pound. English pound radio. Whoa, English pound, whoa, radio, whoa. Charlie! To the BLACK, representing special mix. Yeah, man, I'm say what's a special mix. Be a special mix. Well, I don't know what you're doing, I'm going to say, yo, Mr. Special Mix here. I'm going to love it like that. We hit them up special. We hit them up.